technical support option. This film is about guaranteed job training in the United States Marine Corps. The Marine Corps Enlistment Option Program is designed to guarantee qualified applicants training in a specific Marine Corps job program. The technical support option has six basic job categories. Aircraft maintenance ground support equipment, avionics, electronics maintenance, weather service, air traffic control, and enlisted flight crews. These are tough technical jobs. What's needed are qualified Marines trained in the special skills required. There's a variety of jobs in each of the options. Wherever possible, your specific job interests will be taken into consideration. Naturally, the immediate needs of the Marine Corps will come first. We believe that the best thing for the Marine Corps is to put a good Marine and a good Marine Corps job together. There are over 25 specialized jobs offered in the technical support option. Let's take a closer look at some of them. Aircraft maintenance, ground support equipment. At the ground support equipment shop, all the yellow gear is inspected and maintained. It's here that trained GSE mechanics and electricians go to work. I'm a hydraulics in GSE. I like it fine. You can uh, learn a lot. If you apply yourself, you can get into machines. And once you come through your basic school, you can work on diesels. Well, I like it a lot. It's a good experience. I've learned everything from uh, electrical down to mechanical. I could take care of my own cars and stuff now. Avionics. These Marines are highly skilled technicians. Some very special technical jobs are involved with the calibration, maintenance, and repair of precision avionics equipment. This is test equipment that's used for check purposes on the equipment that flies on the aircraft. They take this down to the flight line and check out the equipment. It may be four or five volts. The meter indicates for actual voltage may only be a half volt or a volt. Then when the pilot's in the air and wants to activate something, it won't activate because it doesn't have proper voltage. I really enjoy working with electronics because of the, the challenge involved. Electronic theory has a lot of holes in it where theory doesn't work and trying to figure those out and work with those is, I enjoy it very much. I've had a lot of training in electronics and it's very interesting, there's a lot to learn, you'll never learn enough. The electronics job is a good job, it's a good field to get into and you can use it later. I enjoy it, I'm planning on re-enlisting. Marine Corps give you the education and while you are in the Marine Corps they give you plenty of time to go to college and you're still making money at the same time. I can explain, I just love electronics. The electronics maintenance field involves testing, repairing, and maintaining complicated radar and electronics equipment. I'm a radar repairman. It's a good technical field, and it's a pretty good job. Some of the jobs in this area are so highly sensitive militarily that they require secret security clearance. My job in the Marine Corps is a radar repairman, and I really enjoy it. Every day is a challenge. It's not boring. It's a good field to get into. You get a lot of education out of it. My job is navigational aid repairman. It's a challenging job. It's a fun job. I feel it's an important job. The Marines in the Tactical Air Command Center are responsible for various air elements in an air war. Activating program at this for loading time. and monitoring the programs used on the tactical data system. The training the Marines receive in the uh, technical fields involve computers and radio transmitters, which is a, a very highly sought after skill in the outside job market. I've learned how to maintain and operate a tactical data system. The information passed in the operations group is vital to the decisions made by the air commander. The 
weather is vitally important to all marine aircraft. I learned a lot about weather systems as a whole because balloons are affected by the winds and clouds. First off, you have to release the balloon. Once it's uh, underway, the radar antenna will track it as far as the balloon will go into the atmosphere and uh, gives a readout, various elements, temperature, relative humidity, and all these things are combined to come up with a cross-section of the atmosphere so that we can predict the weather. In the weather center, data and forecasts are kept current. Marine pilots and navigators come here for information concerning weather conditions for upcoming flights. From there on into Hawaii, may expect northwesterly winds about 50 knots. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, this is your copy, and have a nice flight. Thank you very much. During the flight planning stage, I use this weather information to come up with a total time en route, and I can determine how much fuel will be required to fly the mission. After I finish the flight planning stage, I brief the pilots on the mission. Flying on Marine KC-130s as airborne radio operator loadmaster and first navigator is exciting work. front of the aircraft, stay away from underneath the wings, please. traffic control. These Marines maintain an orderly safe flow of aircraft. It's a heavy responsibility. Supervisor, what do we have coming in? 284, this is Del Toro, final control. How do you hear me? Charlie 11, Gay, loud clear. Charlie 11, loud clear off, confirm F4, full stop. Technical support option. Special jobs for special Marines.